everyone. So, this has been a really hot topic whereby a lot of people are complaining that persons are leaving Jamaica and they're going overseas and they're looking for greener pastures and Jamaica is having a lot of brain drain issues. And my thing is, is it really brain drain or is it that Jamaicans are trying to survive? So if you're new to this channel, my name is Kilani and I talk about cultural topics, societal issues, things like that. So anyways, other day, the mayor of Montego Bay said that expats who are leaving the country are cowards, right? And this article, it was on the Jamaican Gleaner, but mysteriously, I can't find it anywhere. Bruh. Anyways, I have a personal take on this issue. I want to know, how is it that persons who are leaving to go to another country, how are they cowards when one of the bravest things that you can ever do is actually to migrate to another area? Like, you're going into a country that is culturally different than you. You're going to a country, whether it's the UK, Canada, USA, Australia, that is predominantly white, and you're coming out of a society that is predominantly black. And so you're going to face a lot of racial issues, a lot of stereotypical issues that you don't normally face in Jamaica. And a lot of us, we can't take criticism, let alone racism. So how are these people that are leaving for a better life? How are they cowards? I really don't understand. That makes no sense. Secondly, Jamaica has almost 3 million people. And we, even though we are the third largest Caribbean island, right, we're still a small land space. So if we have three, almost 3 million people and we're a small land space, that means that there are more people than opportunities, hence the need to go elsewhere to find a better opportunity or a better job. I mean, coming out of university, if you don't have any links, if you don't know anybody, right, it is by the grace of God, you can get a good job. Otherwise, you're ending up working at call center. And it's not to bash call center workers, it's not to let them feel a type of way, but it's the honest truth. You can have your four-year degree in business, nursing, you can have your three-year law degree, and you still end up working at call center for $60,000 a month time. That don't make no sense and most people they're like if me didn't know say but i end up a call center after going to utech or ue or ncu i would have just went to the call center and work instead of being in a bag of student loan and a bag of student debt um that's common sense i really don't understand why persons are bashing people especially yeah young people for wanting to leave the country to get a better life Yes, Jamaica is a nice country in terms of the climate and we have nice beaches, nice food, the culture, the music, everything. There are lots of positives to this country. However, Jamaica has a lot of negatives and one of those negatives is the fact that our currency is poor, right? It might not be as poor as a lot of countries, but it's still not as strong. And so because our currency is down, we have issues with high unemployment rates and the job opportunities, they're limited. It would just make sense to move to another country to get a better opportunity and a better shot at life. Now, are we saying that the USA is 100% better than Jamaica? No. USA has its issues. But at the end of the day, somebody who is in the artistic space, they can thrive at the US. You can't really thrive in the art space down here. Somebody who is in IT from Montego Bay is either they're going to go to Kingston to get a job or they're going to go overseas because a job in the information technology space, it's not readily available here in Montego Bay. And I have so many things to say on this topic because people are acting as if migrating, emigrating, immigrating, it's a new concept. For centuries, people have been migrating, people have been going on to greener pastures, people have been trying to get opportunities from the Ice Age, right? 
couldn't move from Woi Woi to other places for find food, for find land, for find greenery, for find fish, for, for plant, right? So migration has been going on for centuries. It's not a new concept. So what is wrong if that in Jamaica, the amount of resources are limited and there are more people than resources and opportunity and the same Jamaicans, they go somewhere else to get resources that are available to them. What do you want them to do? Stay in the country and suffer and become gunman and thief and robber? And then you go complain that Jamaica have thief and robber? What do you really want these people to do? <laughs> I don't get it. I really, really don't get it. We complain too much. Jesus. And it's not a matter of us denouncing who we are as a people, but it's just that we want the opportunity to live out our dreams and to do what we want to do. And some of these opportunities are just not really available in the country because of lack of resources, lack of job opportunities, lack of development overall. And so if we get the opportunity to go overseas, we're going to do it. There is nothing wrong with that. Not a thing is wrong with that. Okay? No, what I have personally have an issue with is that if you migrate and you go on like say I know Jamaica you come from, that's where my problem is, right? Because you have a lot of persons, they leave the country, they go to the USA, UK, Canada, Australia, wherever, and them go on like say them on a yard. That is my issue. And then bash Jamaica, make Jamaica seem like so it's the worst country on planet Earth. Like so we are the worst set of people. That is what I have an issue with because that's not true. Jamaica has their problems just like every other nation, right? But if you get the opportunity to leave and to go somewhere else to do what you want to do in your career field, that's fine. However, don't make the country look bad. Don't make the country look as if we are terrible and we are this brutal set of people because that's not true Jamaicans are one of the nicest set of people you can eat everybody know that right so that's just my issue on on and my standpoint on where where that is right anyways and another thing i don't understand is that the older generation right i don't really hear this argument in my generation i hear it in the older set of people they're like oh the young people need to stay back and build up jamaica and i'm just like build up jamaica with what if you're going to build you need to have tools you need to have resources are you going to build a house with your so so and so don't you say you need block sandstone cement steel and things like that for build up a house so how am I going to build up a country where I'm not getting any resources? How am I, a fresh university student or somebody out of high school, how am I going to contribute to the economy when I'm not even getting a chance to get a job? That makes no sense, right? What am I going to stay and do? Deal with what? And I don't think people understand that poor people can't really help poor people. With your broke ass. <laughs> right? Because if I have zero dollar, what am I going to help with? Am I going to give you zero dollars? Or if I have ten dollars and you have zero dollars, I can give you two dollars or I can give you three dollars. So that is why I'm going to get a better life so that I can even send back some money to help my family. Because uh, one thing that is helping the Jamaican economy is remittances, remittance money, money from overseas. So how are people that are leaving cowards well if they're cowards thank you for being a coward because because of you a lot of persons are surviving because i'm sure that around christmas time what if people look for forget them married well, if people look for forget their clothes, their shoes, their tin stuff, their soap, then they stand that from the anti a uh, 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 USA or UK and they survive over that for the rest of the year. Well, if people are look for that. So thank you for being a coward. Continue to be a coward to help the, the, the people them in you know, Jamaica was the fall. Because a if poor people that depend upon somebody a foreign. So yeah. China. Chinese people them not complain. The Chinese me, well, me not hear the Chinese government complain. Say the Chinese them I leave China. A 
as a matter of fact they encourage it because there's like over a billion people in china and not everybody can survive there so they're like yo go 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 where you can go to make a better life but don't forget who, where you come from if you ever observe the culture of the Chinese they are so respectful and reverent to their own race the Asians because you know Chinese are Asians and you have different type of Asians but yeah the Asian them they're respectful to their race to their culture they respect and they honor their, their where they come from their heritage they're proud of it right they don't disrespect. I've never heard an expat come on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, wherever, from China, from Asia, wherever, and talk badly about their race. I've never heard it. And people don't even realize that there's a benefit to people leaving the island, you know. Less competition. <laughs> Less competition for people like me and you. We don't have to worry, okay? Less competition for the politician them right some of them can't even rub up more money <laughs> right because let's face it we have too many old politicians in there anyway so if young people like me migrate them have less young people for coming uh, uh, uh implement things that can actually change the country and make it better so let's competition for them let's competition for me let's competition for the new person graduating from university to find a job so it opens up more avenues of opportunity for people who are actually living in the country okay so <laughs> emigration is not that bad for jamaica so is emigration really bad is brain drain really bad because enough people think that the only was scared of them that they're seeing they're people from ghetto communities you have educated people that scam newsflash okay so don't even try it don't even try it don't forget to like comment and subscribe